Welcome everybody, this is Crazy Sammy coming back at you, playing some modern Minecraft Project Ozone Light on XP Crafty's patron server. When we last left off, we started setting up ourselves our nice little AE2 system. Well, we ran into just a little bit of a problem. See here, when I hooked the power up here, it sucked all of our power down so i had to go through and i had to make some more generators and some more stuff like this to get power going and as you can tell our power isn't still doing very good so today we're going to get going on some uh, better power gen what i did is i went ahead and uh, built this area out over here and i built nine 11 by 11 uh, crop farms and I went ahead and planted ourselves some wheat up there which we're going to be using here in just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple stacks of those seeds because we're going to be needing those but we're going to be needing a lot more of that wheat so I'm thinking about bringing a sag mill over here and some bone meal from our uh, some bones from our mob farm over there and uh, putting a I'll get out of here Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid Enderman. And I'm thinking about just going ahead and uh, adding bone meal up there. I'll go ahead and go up there and show you guys uh, the little farm we got growing. And by adding the bone meal, it'll just produce faster. And uh, we're going to be basing our, uh, our food off of, uh, or our power off of uh, Mechanism's power. And uh, they've redid some of their power, so hydrogen power is no longer the thing. So we're going to have to go to ethylene. And to make ethylene, we gotta we got to have ourselves uh, a good supply of wheat or any other food crop. We could, use, uh, we could use potatoes and get four of the biofuel that we need, or we could use carrots. But the thing about wheat is if we go take the wheat, grind it in a sag mill, and then cook the wheat, cook the flour, we get two biofuel, or actually eight biofuel for one wheat stock. So that's the way that I normally do it. We're going to go ahead and do it that way. So the first thing we're going to have to do is come over here and set ourselves up a infuser. A metal... Uh-oh. Uh Oh, let's see here. What are we missing? Ah, oh, we need iron furnaces. Ah, oh, that's not a big deal. So we'll just come over here, grab a stack of those. Grab, grab these two furnaces like this. And we'll just go ahead and make ourselves... There we go, we just go like this. Drop that down like, huh? Oh, conductive iron. Okay, wow. Boy, I'm just really not out, uh, on the ball today, am I guys? But yeah, we'll just come down here. I already made some of this iron, so we just gotta grab ourselves two pieces. I remember now I cooked all that up so, so we'd have it, but I just forgot. It's been a long couple days for me. But what are we missing now? Osmium, osmium, osmium. Steel casing. There we go. Wow, yeah, this is not good today, guys. This is not good for me. I play, I, I'm so sorry about this. There we go. Then with this here, we just need to find ourselves some power. And if you guys just hold on one second, we'll, we need ourselves some... Uh, we need ourselves some... Iron, and then we need ourselves. Ooh, we're just completing a lot of quests here. Then we just need ourselves some redstone like that, which is fine. 
Uh, something else I did, I went ahead and, uh, yeah, shiny objects, get distracted. I went ahead and set up these uh, mechanical users to go ahead and just start uh, producing, doing some sifting for us. I know, I said we wouldn't be doing any sifting. I didn't say there would be no sifting. Basically, all I did is just set it up like this, activate block with item, right click, and then I set it up the upper left slot only. And then down below, I've got some sag mills just crushing up stone into gravel and uh, sand. And then I'll go ahead here in a little bit and uh, set up uh, two mechanical users to turn uh, sand into uh, dust. So that way there we can uh, start getting some of the dust. But we don't need too much of that because we're getting a lot of redstone and uh, glowstone over there at the mob farm. Which I've been meaning to show you guys this. Woo! Boy, he's nasty. I've been meaning to show you guys this. Uh, one little modification I did to our uh, mob farm over here is we needed to get ourselves some uh, wither skeleton spawning, which I've got. See? Getting the wither skeletons dropped. Ah. Yep, we're getting the wither skeletons to spawn, so... So we're getting wither skulls, we're getting lots of rock carbon from them, we're getting drops of evil, we're getting the bones. And the way I did that was I just went ahead, and we'll shut this off here just so I could show you guys. See, we're getting charged creepers too. Yeah, we definitely don't want those guys blowing up on us. But if you can see, uh, looks like we got ourselves uh, some guys hanging up on the... Hanging up on the uh, witch water. But what I did was I got witch water up there. I just put signs all the way around. And then one bucket of witch water. And it just uh, turns the skeletons into uh, wither skeletons. And uh, uh, creepers into electrified creepers. And uh, charged creepers. And away we go. And there they are. They just brought, just going like that. And we get... We get all the loot from those, and so yeah, it's going like gangbusters. See, we got those, we got potatoes, and yeah, so we're doing good over here. I just, I just been meaning to show you guys. I just forgot, and you know, like I say, us old people, you know, you gotta forgive us every now and then. We just forget. So we'll go ahead and go back over here, hook this uh, infuser up, and we'll uh, get started on the mech uh, power. If you guys uh, just hold on a couple minutes, I'll be right back, and we'll have a. Uh, We'll have some of the stuff set up. Talk to you guys in a few. Okay, everyone, while that stuff's cooking, we're going to go ahead and start getting into some mystical agriculture here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start growing some infirm, infirm, infernium essence. Yeah, try to say that three times fast. And all you do is just take a regular seed I already crafted these ones. Just take regular seed, surround it with uh, like that, and it'll make yourselves the tier one seeds. We're gonna go ahead and craft ourselves some tier two seeds just so we get those going. And to do that, we just we had to go get our little uh, infusion crystal there. Go like that. And we're gonna have to do this quite a few times, so. But we've got the infusion crystal, so that it's not too big. It's not too big of a deal to do. It just takes a little while. But I wanted to show you guys because, you know, this all stuff all takes a little bit of time to do. So as long as we just keep working on it, keep doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, we'll, we'll get her all done. We'll go ahead and throw some of this stuff up in here. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do with those casts here in just a, in just a few minutes. But by the end of the episode, we'll have a, we'll have a power going and our Infernium Essence. Enderman. Oh, I can't wait till we get that. I can't wait till we get that up. Obelisk that'll, that'll take care of take care of those for us. Oh, they'll be such a ugh, I hate them. They're annoying or annoying as all heck. 
And coming up here pretty soon, we'll be taking care of, uh, we'll be converting these here automatically once we get the Master Infusion Crystal. It's just a pain in the butt to keep making those up all the time. Yeah, which we shouldn't be too much longer. It's, it, we just got to make, more or less, I just got to get off my lazy butt and uh, set some stuff up for us. And it's just some stuff that I haven't done too much of. And yeah, so I just got, it's just out of my comfort zone, but we'll get to it. So now that we got this, we're able to just take these, put these right there. And there we go, we got tier two. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do one more set of tier two. I may even do go up to tier three, but you guys don't wanna watch me do all that crafting. So we'll go ahead and uh, I'll either get all these done in this setup or we'll be uh, swapping back over to the mechanism power. So uh, hang on tight and we'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Uh, we made just a few tier threes and we'll just go ahead and bring these over here. Now what we're going to do is, oops, forgot our paper back here. We need some paper because we're going to make a paper mattock. And what that's going to allow us to do is make a, make an indestructible mattock. Because it'll give us the five modifiers that we need to make it uh, indestructible. And the way you make it indestructible is you just make these five gold plates here, which are just two pieces of gold each. So we're talking ten gold. Come over here, grab ourselves 40 obsidian. Put those like that. Come over here, then just surround these with uh, like that. And there we go. Then to create the mattock out of paper, we come over to our tinker tools. We come over to our parts builder. And we just uh, click on the axe pattern shovel pattern and then just the tool pattern put it there and there we go a paper now if we try to use that you see it's only got six durability but we go like this and now it's unbreakable there we go see unbreakable that's exactly what we want for this. Now, like I said, I've already got this all set up over here pretty much. So we just come over here and we're just going to drop our uh, Ender IO farming station. And I know there's other farming stations that we can use, but we're using the Ender IO because it gives us uh, mystical essences from uh, mystical agriculture. Where I've been uh, told that the other farmers don't. Now, we're also going to throw a double layer capacitor in here. What that's going to do is it's going to speed up how fast it works, but it's also going to make, instead of the stock 7x7, seven seven, we're going to be able to do an 11x11 11 11 area now. There we go. See, planted like that. And we just go like that, and away we go. And these here will just grow for us nice and easy while while we're out while we're out and about. And as they uh we're gonna leave these down for now until until these are growing up because we don't want anything spawning. Oh also make sure you put a light on top of those. Because we don't want anything spawning there, blowing things up. Trust me, I dealt I've dealt enough with that. So now our uh, mechanism uh, should be done making our uh, making our enriched alloys. Now the next thing we need to make is called elect electrolytic separator. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to break water water down into its basic forms of hydrogen and oxygen. And that'll allow us to do some uh, conversions of some other things. So we're going to need uh, we're going to need some iron and then we're also going to need some iron 
gold dust, uh, osmium dust, and uh, some stuff like that. We're going to need a couple of these, so we'll go ahead and uh, make ourselves three of them. And uh, you guys will see this here uh, later. What I started doing was uh, we've got our sifter upstairs, and I just started making... Uh, I just started making us a little, just a little uh, smeltery here. Uh, let's see here. We should have some osmium. Uh, so, uh, hmm. Yeah, we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. We'll take it. Osmium. And then we got gold right around here. There we go. So we go like that. We got our gold, we got our iron, and we'll have our osmium. And we'll go ahead and get these crafted up. Then we'll make our energetic uh, separator. We're also going to be using uh, Ender IO's reservoir for our uh, water for our water needs. So, so yeah, so that that'll be nice and easy. So we're just going to go like this. We're just going to. Uh, can we use this segment? No, nope, that one's full. So we'll just uh, change this uh, from pushing over there. We'll just go like this and pop these down in there. It'll give us our stuff real fast. All this to get to our digital storage. Yeah, we need a lot of power because it was taking all this power here and just sucking it dry so once we get it once we get it going and in fact we're gonna build it right on ah I'm so done with those there we go then we'll set this back up push and uh, let's see here crafting table should be right about there we go so we go like that We'll just make ourselves four of those. A good thing we got ourselves uh, some iron dust. Got ourselves some iron, and I think that'll do it for this. I'm going to come right over here. Oh, redstone. How could we forget the redstone? I know we could forget the redstone because I'm doing it and I'm always forgetting stuff. You guys all know that. Do we have any redstone sitting right here? Nope. So we just come down here. Those weren't there a little while ago, but that explains a few things. So we just go like this. Uh oh. Don't tell me we don't have any uh any nether quartz. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Can we? Yeah, there's a couple things we can do, but yeah. we'll try it here in a few minutes. We'll see if it works. Because uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But if it does, it'll it'll be okay. So then we just come right back over here. Make one of these. There we go. And the next thing we're going to need is a pressure. Pressurized reaction chamber, and for that we're going to need an enrichment chamber, which we're going to need these basic uh, control circuits. We're going to need a few of those, so we're going to need some osmium ingots with some redstone. So, you know that osmium dust we have? We're just going to go ahead and go like that, cook that up. We'll go ahead and make ourselves twelve. Now, this is simply just put those right there, get ourselves 12 uh, redstone, put that in the green, and as you can see, it'll start popping those out. Oh, we're going to need some basic, yeah, K 
Okay, not a problem. We'll go ahead and cook some more of this up. We got enough. Now, once we get everything set up, I'll show you guys what all these all this stuff here is. This here basically means that we use one uh, redstone and we can create eight eight of these if we do it uh, with the enrichment chamber. There we go. We'll go ahead and go over here. I'll need our steel blocks, which are upstairs. Our machine casings for mechanism. We'll go ahead and make ourselves up just a couple of those so we don't have to keep running back up here. It's just some steel, which I had to use the steel from... Uh, I use the steel from extreme reactors in the alloy smeltery, which is eight pulverized coal to one iron, and it gives us one steel ingot. And did that, and it worked out just great. In fact, we're gonna be needing to use some more of those uh, ingots to make some of the cables that we're gonna be needing. So we'll just go like this. Got that, our enrichment chamber. Got that quest done. We'll make ourselves up two of these. There we go. A dynamic tank. Oh, we need a bucket and four more. Honestly, guys, I do try to, if you look, look up here, I try to have everything laid all out for us. I had, had the splicing guys showing you how to make the everything i had the ae2 stuff all laid out all the way up there so i'm not as disorganized as i look at least i try not to be sometimes i am but this time here just this this cropped up and and it was kind of beyond my control let's see here we got a bucket right around here we got lots of buckets with lots of stuff but not there we go dynamic tank one of those make our pressurize there we go we got that we got our electro electro separator we're gonna need a crusher We'll just use a basic crusher for now. Two molten buckets of lava. There's one. And we're... Yeah, that's not good. Let's come over here and grab our bucket. And we need two more of those circuits, which are right down here. Because we did make up a few more. Then the last thing we're going to need is a gas burning generator. And we just need ourselves, let's see, that should be right about here. Nope. There we go. And four osmium ingots. It just takes a little bit to set up, but once the setup is all done, it's pretty easy to go. So we got all this stuff. Now we're just gonna have to make ourselves some of their uh, some of the mechanism basic uh, pipes here. We're gonna need some pipes for fluids, some pipes for gases, and we're gonna go ahead and use Ender IO. Uh, now we'll go ahead and use the the mechanism we'll keep it all mechanism 
And one other thing with mechanism is you need a configurator. Just three uh, iron ingots. Yeah, every mod has their own little wrench that you have to use. But that's okay. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll put a I'll be putting a crafting table down here. Well, once we get our uh, wireless crafting uh, going, that'll make things a lot, lot easier for us. We'll just go like that, like that. Coolio, and yep, we don't have a stick or one piece of lapis. Doesn't anybody have one piece of lapis for us? That's my bad impersonation of, uh, doesn't anybody have a missile from Independence Day 4? Yeah, I just dated myself. I'm old. Like I say, it'll be nice when all this is uh, put up for us. So that way there we'll be able to find everything a lot easier. We're just going to go like this and cheat. go there we go okay let's see here so to make that we need to we'll just go ahead and pick up all of our steel since we know how to make most of the stuff now we'll make up ourselves uh, 24 of those Ah, need some buckets, which are right over here. Oh, I got a whole stack of buckets somewhere. Which is, you just uh, replace the center one. There we go. And then we want. So we just need ourselves three pieces of glass. I'm gonna drop these off right here. Yeah, three pieces of glass. And then for the transporter is three of these. So their stuff isn't too expensive to make and actually we'll go ahead and make everything up to the second tier. It's just put those enriched alloys in the center and it just bumps them up. Let's them, lets them uh, produce a little more, handle a little more. So if you guys want to give me a few minutes because I do have to uh, I do have to do some crafting, some setting some other stuff up to get this all going. I've got to make the, uh, I've got to make the reservoir and stuff like that. So just give me a few minutes and uh, we'll be right back, guys. Okay, everyone, this is how we got it set up. I've got two water reservoirs over here feeding into these pipes, which then feed into the electrolytic separator. Electrolytic separator makes hydrogen and oxygen and the way you need to set it up is you need to set it up to dump the excess oxygen if you don't the whole thing will shut down and it'll stop working and uh, if you notice that it's stopped working just check make sure that that button there is clicked then from there we feed it in to the pressure pressure reaction chamber what this does is it takes water which we bring over from these two tanks over here to the pressure chamber and it mixes water biofuel which we get the biofuel from from over here we bring it remember our wheat we bring our wheat over here insert it into the seg mill and from the seg mill it uh, makes flour and I have the seeds that happen going just to the trash can and then from there it takes the bread dumps it into the crusher 
The crusher ch then changes it to the biofuel, which then comes over here and mixes and makes ethylene. And right now we're uh, only producing uh, we're only producing a uh, two uh, two thousand RF a tick, but we could produce a lot more than that. That's just what the system is drawing right now. And once we get it set up, we'll uh, put some Ender IO uh, capacitors here. Then eventually we'll uh, move into the mechanism uh, induction coils. Which, believe it or not, they can store more RF than a, a Draconic Evolution uh, reactor uh, disco ball. Then, and yeah, so we'll get into those a little later. And, uh, but yeah, that's, that about does it for our power needs. And like I said, I'll tidy it up a little bit. I know I said I was going to use the mechanism, uh, cables, but these here are just, they're 99,000, uh, RF a tick that they'll carry. So it just made more sense to use those, but everywhere else, you know, we use the mechanism where we could. And, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is, uh, the substrate, this does produce, a product called substrate which uh, I just have flowing out into the trash can and you may find that uh, you need it later so you may want to just go ahead and put a chest here uh, storage drawer here with a void upgrade in it to get uh, to get that all going well guys I think that's gonna do it today if you guys have any questions about this if I've confused you guys anywhere along the way just leave me a message and uh, we'll get it all taken care of, and I'll answer everything that I can. Uh, but it, it's pretty much self-explanatory. We, we just, uh, I guess, uh, then you've also got to come in here and set up the configurations. Make sure it's set to auto-eject. We're, we're output to the left, so you want to make sure that uh, the left is output and the right is the input. And then over here, you do the same thing. You just uh, set it up, and we have the input on the right. We have the, that can actually be shut off, and we have the output out the front there. And over here, over here, there are no outputs. And we're going to go ahead, and uh, we'll be making some, I'll have some speed upgrades made. They're pretty cheap. Uh, they're just uh, these enriched alloys and some osmium dust and just some glass and we'll also do the energy upgrades too which is just a uh, which is just some uh, just some gold dust in the glass it they take any glass blocks but you guys want to know what that's going to do it for us today so you know just go out there have some fun uh, play around with this and if you guys have any troubles with it just let me know and we'll talk it through and get it running for you you guys have a good day now bye bye